good with y'all. Money Bound Him. This is actually a challenge video. JJ, I bet you didn't think I was coming back this soon now, did you? Let's do it, man. So shout out to JJ all day for going ahead and uh, throwing me in the mix on this one and challenging me to make this video. Uh, this video, as you can see in the title, is actually going to be about the oldest sneaker I have in my collection right now. And I think I'm going to shock y'all with this one because it's, it's not something that you really expect. You know, it's not a Jordan. It's not even a Nike that I'm about to pick up. But um, it's, it's, something, it's something a little bit different that you probably, I don't even know if y'all know that this shoe came out. You know that's how that's how old it is, but uh, let me let me show y'all what I'm talking about. This right here is called the Adidas Goodyear, and I mean Goodyear, just like the tire. It definitely say that on there with the Adidas. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, let me let me let y'all know how old it is before I do a review a little review on it real quick. This shoe came out back in 2005 like in 2005 so this shoe 14 years old you know a uh, quick story on it this actually the first shoe that i bought for myself um i thought i mean i've seen a couple people wearing this shoe and i just thought it was dope you know uh it, there was another colorway that i saw of it that i really liked it was blue it was like blue uh all the upper was blue on it and then the uh, the stitching was like mesh. I mean, the stitching, <laughs> the stitching was like um, I want to say it was like a black or a silver. And then uh, the three stripes were silver on it too. I really liked that one, but you know, I ended up going with black. Like I like I keep telling y'all, I love black shoes. You know, so um, quick review on them. I mean, the mesh, the mesh is all upper. Uh, all of this little design right here is stitched. Everything on that part, on that upper part, is stitched. You know, so that's like a like a white color that's stitched on there. The midsole is like a, I don't know. I don't know what you would really call that, but it's it's not really, I wouldn't say it's the most comfortable or any, any special technology that they put into this particular shoe. Um, so it's, it's white on the little midsole. The, uh, the outsole on it is black. Now, quick story on that. Um, whole time i still believe that uh what they said was this particular outsole was made from 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 a tire so i mean you see you can see the you can see the, the treads on it it looked it look like a tire but i don't know how true that is but to this day that's that's the story i'm sticking with this came from a tire i will say that um i have you know i've driven my car with this shoe on and um with this bottom on it i guess i guess you could say give it a little extra grip you know just a little bit of an extra grip when you when you got your foot on the pedal so don't race me when i got these on do not race me when i got these on because I'm, I'm gonna get busy you know but nah, nah nah back to this um goodyear logos all over the shoe so they got one on the on the heel they put the goodyear logo adidas logo this is actually leather on the back this is like a, this is what well, I like. This is actually leather that's on the back here. Uh, even coming, coming down, it's leather. This is actually some of that, some of that tire, I guess. That's what I'm gonna call it, some of that tire. This is uh, the risen up, it, they made it rise, risen. They made it rise up a little bit on the heel. Um, you got Goodyear on the mid, so here, I mean, they put a lot of that Goodyear labeling uh, on this particular shoe, they got they got Goodyear on. This is a strap, you know, so this strap come all the way like that. It don't come off, but you know the Velcro strap come all the way, all the way back. It's like a this is actually a bootleg. This is really a bootleg suede for real. You know, you would kind of look at it and think it's like a suede new buck type demo, but it's not. They kind of put that same thing on on the eyelets right there. That bootleg suede. Um, yeah, man, this is, this is a, a dope shoe. They, they also put that, that same bootleg material on the, on the tongue. 
Um, I, like I said, I, I thought this was a real dope shoe when I when I seen it. Look at the back of the tongue, got the checker mark on there. And just in case y'all didn't believe how old the shoe was, see if I can get that to focus on the camera some. I hope y'all can see that. But at the bottom down there, and it showed the production is April of 2005. Uh, this is actually a size nine. Uh, I wear a size eight. I don't know why I bought these in a size nine. Probably was wearing my shoes a little bigger back then. Don't know why. But um, insole, love it, say. Got Adidas on the inside. You know, it's all rubbed off. Like I said, this is a 14 year old shoe. But I mean, it's still wearable. You know, no lie. I mean, the, the seal not. I mean, not the, the seal, the uh, the sole not coming off or separating from the shoe. Um, I mean, hell, follow me on IG, man. You actually might see me rock these joints. So I'm, I'm actually gonna go ahead and break these out soon because nobody really, nobody really got these. Like I, I, ain't, I haven't seen nobody with these recently. Oh, let me tell you another quick, another quick tidbit about these shoes, right? So I was watching, uh, I think it was on Nice Kicks, uh, they YouTube channel back, I don't know, maybe a year, a year or so ago. They had an Adidas executive. One of them dudes was on there showing his collection of all his like sample Adidas and all this stuff that he had. And uh, they asked him, what's one shoe that you wish you could have in your collection that you don't have? And this is the shoe that he said he wish he had, the Goodyear. So um, dude from Adidas, Whoever you was, if you want this shoe, you could buy this from me. Like, I'll sell it to you for, uh, we could talk about it. I'll sell it to you, though. But other than that, this is going to stay in my collection. Like I said, this is the first shoe I ever bought for myself. Um, I'm still holding on to it. It's still wearable. Follow me on IG, like I said, moneybound uh, underscore M. And you're going to see me break these out again soon because why not? I mean, it's it's held together. This this mesh upper is pretty good, so I'm gonna break I'm gonna break these out soon. Oh, and I do I did want to bring y'all a bonus shoe. My homie JJ gave y'all a bonus shoe when he gave y'all that LeBron. So I'm gonna give y'all something that y'all might enjoy just a little bit better than this this Adidas that nobody really knew much about. Boom, got a got a, a Jordan Eight Aqua. And this is actually from 2007. This is the 2007 version of the joint. Uh, it's a size seven. This wasn't originally my shoe. This is my sister's shoe. She had it at my mama's house and so she ain't want it no more. So I grabbed it. Um, like I said, it's a size seven. I wear a size eight. It's uh, some separation on the, on the sole from these joints. So I'm probably just gonna get some super glue glue it together and take the insole out and see if I can fit it. And if I can fit it just a little bit to where it's not hurting my foot, then I'm gonna just go ahead and, and be rocking these like they beat us, straight up, you know, straight up. But um, I already didn't let this video go on longer than it should have. Um, again, big shout out to JJ all day for, for going ahead and throwing me in this, throwing me in this sneaker challenge. Uh, the, people, the people that I challenged in the beginning, I put y'all names up there, man. I, I hope y'all jump in it too, man. I'm anxious to see what y'all pull out um, as far as y'all, you know, y'all oldest sneaker. But if you haven't subbed to the channel, go ahead and sub up. Hit that, uh, hit that like button. You know, leave a comment, whatever you want to do. You hit the notification bell too, let you know when I drop a video. But um, I'm getting up out of here, man. You see it's a box behind me right there. So uh, unboxing coming for y'all soon. I'm about to record that one tonight too. And uh, I'll get with y'all next time, man. All I can say is SMH, nigga stay in your place, these streets is wicked It's gonna take more than standing in line for J's for you to kick it Got sneaker plugs, set for locker, fuck they raffle tickets